Hello guys, well, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you another WWE 2K24 Showcase Objectives walkthrough of Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle. So you're going to want to do the circle um, and then left and square and that will open up the first cutscene. I've skipped that because you don't need to see the cutscenes, you'll watch them yourselves anyway. Um, next thing, you need to do three reversals, so you'll get this hopefully naturally, um, but you're going to want to do a light grapple as well, so that's just circle and square um, and once you've done that then we can move on to the next one but yeah three reversals just press triangle and uh, time that right to get the reversals done i'm sure if you've got to this point you've done reversals before so i'm just going to fast forward this bit while i get those reversals done Alright, so now that we've done those reversals, we are moving on. So we want to do um, some fast pace. We just want to do some rebound attacks. So that's an Irish whip and then any attack. So Irish whip with the circle. Um, throw, <laughs> try not to get him into the referee because otherwise he will just bump into the ref and that won't count. Um, but you need to do damage as well. You'll get that naturally just by completing these objectives anyway. Um, press circle and throw him into the rope and either hit him with a square X or circle again I'm going to fast forward we've done one there and now you know how to do it I might as well skip through so we don't waste any more time all right with that done we now just want to use the lucha arm drag so circle left stick to the right and square and that will complete this move um, very cool move. I love when Eddie used to do that one. Um, so that's that complete. And next thing that we want to do is hit a signature. So hopefully you've already built up a signature. Um, and you can just press the R2 and square button. And that will be our two. Uh, sorry, R2. Yeah, and square button um, to do the signature. And that will open up another cutscene, which you will find Eddie flying through the air and uh, accidentally face plant in the barricade, which is a little bit annoying because you find yourself on the outside and in a little bit of danger. But uh, nothing too bad because we need to... Um, just use the snap there so you will do that by pressing circle um, and then up and square but you need to do that while in the ring so we need to get him in the ring or he'll get you in the ring but it is a little bit annoying that you start outside of the ring when you need to be in it for this objective but get inside the ring um, just press the circle button then up on the left stick and square and that will open up the next cutscene here and you will find yourself again on the floor um, both people will be on the floor though so it's not a big deal um, and uh, yeah we'll move on to the next thing here so next you are going to want to do some more damage but first of all you want to do a light combo so that is just the square 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 You've probably done that countless times if you're here um, by now as long as you've been following along and completing all of the objectives so we'll do that now square oh if we can finally square 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 and he didn't reverse which is a miracle uh, next thing you're going to want to do is get up behind and use the rear grab so we need to get him to the floor ideally um, and then pick him up with the uh, right analog stick facing upwards and then use the left analog stick and square to hit the rear grab um, and that will do the harakarana which is the next complete challenge and you as you can see they're still dishing out um, damage and then you just want to press right on the d-pad when you get a moment to do an opponent taunt and that will complete that objective as well just go ahead finish off getting the damage and you will complete the uh, the next portion of this there we go that's that complete nice and easy next thing you're going to want to do is a stored signature and um, so again r2 and square and um, so just fill up that bar and um, the blue bar there that you can see at the bottom left hand side that is flashing and hit the signature there oh he's reversed i'm going to skip this just so that you're not sitting there waiting for me to fill up that bar all right so now we're going to hit the signature as you can see here again that is the r2 and square um like i said <laughs> hopefully you don't get yours reversed but uh, i accidentally got mine reversed so I had to fill up the bar which you didn't really want to be seeing i was assuming so i pick him up and then press x and that will actually trigger the next cut scene so we're coming up to about the well just over halfway of this one it is a bit of a longer one um in my opinion probably the longest one so far um which is good i like eddie and angle so it's good to play as them um next thing you're going to want to do you need to hit a frog splash um so you can do this in any order any order that you like um but we actually do need to get up first of all first there we go so we're getting up finally um but yeah we want to hit a ddt as well so we'll 
see if we can see which order we want to do it but either way you probably know how to do a finisher by now so i'm actually going to go ahead and do the finisher because he's in a pretty good position you can do it to him outside um, but if if he doesn't end up outside then you can do it inside so just press the l2 button to climb up to the top rope and then hit your finisher with r2 and x and that will complete the finisher um, and then you're going to want to do a ddt again this can be inside or outside so circle left stick and x and hit him with that big DDT there. Um, and then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is hit another three amigos, so the signature again. So I'm gonna skip again because it's just doing attacks to, guilt, to build up that, um, that blue bar there for the signature meter. All right, so we've got the meter filled and we're going to hit the signature there. So again, three amigos. This is the third time I think that we're hitting these three amigos. Um, so you do need to do quite a bit of attacking just to fill up the, the meter in general, which is what makes this a little bit longer. Um, and the next thing, so this one actually took me a little while to figure out. So I thought it was just like a standard uh, press circle and exit his head. But you will quickly see that that is not the case. You actually need to press circle and square at his head while he's facing down. So um, you need to get him down. So the easiest way to do that is just get him on his back. And um, that's absolutely fine. That doesn't count. That does not work. Um, so to actually get him facing down, you want to press um, right on the right analog stick while he's on the ground and that actually flips him over um, I wasn't aware of this for a short period of time until I sort of figured that's how you do it in the corner so why wouldn't that be how you do it on the ground as well um, but that is the last of the, um, the walkthrough there so hopefully you did like the video if you did and it helps please do give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and there will be a link in the description down below full of WWE 2K24 showcase objectives as always guys thank you for watching